Okay, I'm going to shoot some video of a K-Line top. It's on a 71 CJ5. Um, there's a lot of people out there doing restorations, and if they have this top, then this might be good reference information, and I'll try to point out some of the features. I'm not sure how old the top is. This Jeep came out of Denver. I'm like the second, third owner. Second owner only had it for a short period of time. They were going to restore it, but didn't have the money or time or ambition. So I went ahead and bought it from them and tore it all apart. Last year, I had every nut and bolt off about this time. I was painting the tub in my neighbor's garage. So, All right, so... That's the outside. I'll show the doors in a little bit. I wanted to shoot this video before I put the doors on. Okay, now for the inside. It's got two bows. Um, the front one, you can see where the bar from the tub and the windshield mounts in. I'll get a close-up of this side. The flaps are just Velcroed. They go over the bar and then they stuck with Velcro. See the Renegade has a padded roll bar. There's a gap between there, probably between the roof and the roll bar, probably about an inch or so. All right, coming around here, I got the light on. Hopefully you can see it. Basically the bars have rubber. Where they're wedged in. And up here as well. It's got a little bit on bracket here on the, for interconnection. Comes around. Let me get that light on here so it's not so dark. You can see where the eye bolt comes through the windshield. Take a quick look on the outside. Got an acorn nut. Snap. Even though the top looks a little rough, all this can be repaired. I'm not worried about fixing it up. It's very functional the way it is. All right, one last thing. Bracket. You can see on the rear bracket, there's three holes. I've got it in the first one, so it's the least amount of tension. So what you do when you're snapping this thing on, that rear bracket will flop down, or you'll have it in a down position, which relieves the tension. Let me try to exercise it on this side. Hopefully this turns out. Yeah, I gotta get the seat out of the way. Sorry about all the jiggling, but that's what you need to do. All right, I'm trying to get around. These things are bitch to get in and out. There's the bracket. Okay, now it's down. It Release the tension. Flip it up. Or snap the top on around back and the sides and then snap that back up and it creates tension not an easy thing to video all right I'll probably end up editing out a bunch of this stuff Okay, let's move on to the doors. Get rid of that light. This is the driver's door, left side. There's the knob. Got a big K on it. Inside. Made in USA. Standard warning label for protection of elements. 
All right, I got the passenger side laid out upside down so you can get a better look. You can see the framing into the tub here, and then that bracket along the windshield, which I'm not sure I show a good picture of it, but put it up in there, drop it down into the tub, snap it on. Pretty straightforward. Latch for the inside. Zippers. point out um, this stuff works awesome on lots of different things this is what I use on the zippers use it on metal use it on table saw this is good for the vinyl cleaner make your own cleaner denatured alcohol distilled water works great for cleaning snaps I put all new hardware on here or stainless snaps and these are all stainless you can pick these up at Amazon, hopefully it shows up. Less than a couple of six packs of beer, pretty cheap. They're really good. There's 50 in here and this is what I have left. Uh, these things won't twist off on you and they're 100% stainless, so pretty good product. All right, you can see the Renegade version, amp and oil, had a dash. Visors, rear view mirror, padded roll bar, like I mentioned earlier, all standard Renegade features. There comes the heater from my Jeep garage. This is where I spend my cold, long South Dakota winters. Jeep built, no, not bought. And then the Renegade. Okay, in the video. Hope you gleaned some good information out of this and uh, maybe use it as a reference in your restoration. Your video on the uh, K-Line top. Wanted to show you what the top looks like with the doors on. These are really easy to, to put on. You can see the bracket where the upper uh, rod goes into. And then the lower part into the tub. Earlier I showed you uh, the Johnson's Pace Wax. So just lube this thing up real good, wipe it down with the rag, and this top slides right in there, no trouble. Snaps on real easy too. Looks like it seals up not too bad. Should be fine. All right, let's take a quick look at the passenger side. Got that one on, maybe this side I can see a little better. Bracket. Okay. And you got your inside latch. That's how she fits. This thing goes on real easy. Like I said, lube this channel really good and um, just in case you didn't re see it earlier i can't remember it's that johnson's pace wax i use this thing i keep this tub in the shop use it for everything uh, you can use it on you know like the metal table saw tools works i mean even the vinyl it says it works good for leather and all of that so it's really good stuff Makes the zippers work good, and it makes sliding the doors into this channel very easily, very easy. I, you know, lube up the bead on the door and get yourself a small screwdriver with a little bit of a rag and lube up the channel, and that top will go on real nice. All right, hope you enjoyed the video, learned something. If not, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.